delicious. You really are. Whee! It is so nice to be here in London again. I, uh, I was here. I was here when I was young. Mm. I was here about, oh, six or seven years ago. And, uh, and I enjoyed it then, except I must confess that I was in the, in the country for 23 days, on the road for 21, in my hotel room for the other two. It was quite an extensive tour, as a matter of fact. And uh, I, love, I love this city. In fact, this particular stay, I've, uh, after I was through doing some work, I uh, took some time to just relax and walk around. And I felt very proud the other evening when a man stopped me on the street and he said, uh, do you know where Victoria Station is? <laughs> and I said, yes, sir, I do, as a matter of fact. It's right around the corner to the right. He looked at me and said, far enough. <laughs> you know? I gave him the right instructions, though, I must tell you that. I wound up at the airport. <laughs> but uh, I was born, actually, in, in the States, of course. I was born in New York City. Born in a place called Harlem, as a matter of fact. And I was raised in the Bronx. And ever since I was about yay high, I've always wanted to go, I always wanted to go to the town of Hollywood. Just so I could see all the motion picture stars up close in person, huh? And I'm sure if everybody in the audience wanted to be real honest, well, you'd admit that at one time in your lives, you kind of really wanted to do the same thing. So if I may, I should like to take you on an imaginary trip with a fellow who comes from, uh, from a small town in the States, like, uh, well, like Green Bay. <laughs> Town's empty, huh? <clears throat> <laughs> Always one in the group. <laughs> And this fella takes himself a champagne flight into Los Angeles, gets off the plane, expects to see all the stars just hanging around the airport. Of course, there's nobody there, so he checks into a motel and then wanders into a downtown Los Angeles saloon with the intriguing title of the Stars Bar. He figures that sooner or later, somebody from the motion picture world has to walk in there. Unfortunately, nobody do, does. <laughs> now, you must bear in mind the fact that this fellow has taken himself a champagne flight. There it is landing now. <laughs> he's taken himself a champagne flight, so naturally, <clears throat> he's feeling a little good. Hey, bartender, I'll drink to that. <laughs> Isn't this the Stars Bar where all the celebrities hang, hang up? Well, where is everybody? Were they too stuck up to have a drink or just a regular working guy from Bengay? Where I live? Ooh, look what you got up on the wall. Everybody's pictographed ottoman. <laughs> How come you don't have nobody here personally? I mean, I'm just as good as they are. And the done say worse. <laughs> I drink to that. Huh? <laughs> big deal, big deal, all those, all those actors in Hollywood. I could be any one of them if I want to be. I could be anybody in the whole world if I want to be, bartender. You think I'm kidding? Damn right. Mm. It's called a tree, Jocko, ain't nobody in this place, huh? huh? <laughs> Except you and me. <clears throat> you and me.
Hush. Hmm? So I want you to stick him up. Nah. I want you to set him up, Joe. Because he's got a little story. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, I thought I had a sneeze. <laughs> My friend, Cary Grant, is going to tell it to you. Now, I say, bartender, we're drinking my friend right up to the end of a brief episode, so I don't want to hear any of your lip. <laughs> Notice when I walk into a room, my shoulders follow me by three feet. <laughs> out of my way, Gunga Dean. They'll make it one for my baby, and while you're at it, fix me up one for Marlon Brandi. Yeah, Brandu. <laughs> Brandy, that's it. Mm. Oh, Tally. Tally, I got the routine, man. Huh? So why don't, you, why don't you put another nickel in the machine, huh? Oh, it's a quarter now? Oh, well, I've been overseas for so long trying to figure out who I'm married to. I don't know what's happening over here, you know. <laughs> Listen, why don't you make the music real dreamy inside, man, for my friend, uh... What am I got his name written on my eyelids? Oh, yeah, Walter Brennan. Yeah, sure, I sure. I could tell you a lot, but you've got to be true to your code, old boy. <laughs> yeah, sure, make it one for my baby. Yeah, sure, I'd, while you're at it, fix me up a great big tall one for my old buddy, the king, Clark Cable. Now, she here, baby. I'm a poet, but you never know it. That's right. Now, I'll tell you something. I've got a lot I've got to say. Isn't that right, Bert Lancaster? That's right, Clark. You're damn right. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Bert. So, bartender, any time I'm gloomy, you'd be real smart to listen to me. Because if you don't, well, damn, damn, I'm liable to pin your ears back. Scarlet. Jimmy Stewart will tell you some more. Well, well, yeah, that's... Well, that's, 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 that's how it goes. Well, and Joe? Joe, I know you're getting anxious to close. I mean, I'm aware of that. So, so I want to thank you for the cheer. I hope you didn't mind my bending your ear. Well, you should pick it up, Joe. It's making a mess on the floor there. So. Tell you what, Robert Mitchum will tell you a little more about it. Robert Mitchum will. Robert don't have too much to say, you see. <laughs> Who can do Robert Knight? W.C. Fields do, does. Yes, 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 my little drunkardies, yes. Say, did I ever tell you about the time I had kidney stones? Or maybe it was stoned kidneys. Well, any time I'm gloomy, bartender, just pass that bottle to me quickly. For sneaky Dean Martin comes along, drinks it all the way. He drinks, you know. So that's how it goes. <laughs> Joe, I know you're getting, oh, you're getting anxious to close. <laughs> I want to thank you for the home. I says I want to thank you. Oh, how I want to thank you. My ex partner's going to thank you now. This torch that I found gotta be drowned or it soon might explode. La 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 la. Make it one. For my baby, <laughs> and one more for Harpo Marx. Harpo Marx in a night at the opera.
Oh, excuse me, excuse me about that. I must have taken a little nap. Well, that's the trouble with this town of Hollywood, though. I mean, it's just a dream world. And I don't need it. And I don't need none of your picture stars. And I certainly don't need your hooch. I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> 